I, w I was told that I was ejected from the vehicle and um, I got my, my leg severed from the roof and when I hit the ground I broke my back and uh, a buddy of mine who was in the vehicle stumbled stumbled out to me and he uh, put a tourniquet on my leg which uh, probably saved my life and then he walked uh, a, a couple of feet and then he passed out. We got a phone call about like 9.30 in the evening and it was uh, Gunnery Sergeant Rose, I remember his name. And he just started saying your son was injured in Afghanistan and he started saying the injuries. And uh, my wife heard me saying them out loud. I was writing them down on a piece of paper and she said, no, no, no. She was just devastated and so was I. I guess I could say my therapy didn't really, really start until I was in uh in Bethesda, they, they they tried sitting me up and tried doing a few things, and I, I I couldn't transfer myself. I couldn't I couldn't really control my my body at that time, and then I was shipped to uh, Richmond, and eventually I was I was able, you know, able to lift my head, and I was able to uh, move my hands and sit up, transfer on my own, and uh, it it it's been quite a quite a battle. Uh, currently, I'm staying in a Malone house. It's like I'd be staying in a hotel. I got a, a, bed, a room that's a bit bigger than this with two beds. But we're, we live on the fourth floor, and there's no uh, the, the emergency exits. If there's a fire, or all stairs. When I got my first convalescent leave, it was very hard going home. My house didn't have you know, any, anything handicap adapted. We had stairs to climb on. Uh, the, we had two bathrooms, and one of them he tried to get in when he first came in. He, he couldn't fit into it. And then the other bathroom was the same way. But the halls were, always are short. The laundry's down in the basement. Uh, there's no way to turn around. The kitchen's small. And uh, we have to make sure that everything's out of the way so that he you know, comes in with his wheelchair. It, it makes me smile to, to know that there are people out there that that are trying trying to help uh, people with with conditions like myself live a, a daily life without without the stresses of having to reach or try to get out of your wheelchair to to reach a plate that's way way up on the top of the, the cupboard or you have to reach over the sink to wash dish, dishes and stuff and I, I won't have to take a, a ramp that. It goes up, turns, goes back up, and turns into the house. You know, the 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 rolling shower will be really, really helpful because I don't have to worry about having a bench seat that can slip all the time when when it's in the tub. It's giving him freedom. Uh, the the plan that he has picked is open from the dining room to the kitchen to the living room. You know, you can you can go around without any obstacles in your way. To see uh, the amount of support, the amount of people that show up to uh, to help us wounded soldiers, it really uh, it really uh, awestruck me. It's good to uh, to know that people really care. I believe we've learned that uh, a soldier coming back from war, whether he's physical or mental injuries, he needs support. It's very gratifying. It's definitely greatly appreciated, and uh, I wish that. The gratitude that I'm, I'm receiving continues to all my uh, fellow soldiers.